hello everyone in this video i'm going to perform update operation that is first i'll search for a record and i'll fill the form and i'll update it in the form and i'll say update and i want all these updates to be reflected in my database so i'll double click on this update button first of all i need to search the record so how do i search the record this is how i search the record that we saw in our earlier video i'll simply copy that and paste it here now I got the record D that I want to update. Now I'll say D dot D name equals to the value that I have in the text box that is txt D name dot text. Now in the same way D dot HOD is equals to the value that I have in the text box HOD. Same way d dot gender equals to the value that i have in radio button list gender dot selected value and finally d dot active equals to checkbox dot checked if it is true then it will be true if it is false then it will update it to false after assigning the values of the text box to this object I need to say OE dot save changes. That's it. Very simple. I have searched the record, then updated the record. I have searched the record and took the reference in D and I have updated that and I am saying save changes. I'll execute this. Now I'll look for one not one I got the record and I want to update HOD name from Peter to Lily and gender from male to female and I want to deactivate as of now and I'll say update so record got updated but it has not got reflected here I need to reload the page to get this reflection You see admin HOD is Lily and gender is female and it got deactivated. Same way I'll take department 100 and perform one more update operation and here I want to activate this and whenever I click the button update this should get reflected right away. So what is that I can do? It is very simple. This is the code that I have in page load. I want to repeat this whenever I update or save the records. And this code I want to execute it initially for the first page load. So I can go ahead and write if not this goes back my old logic. And I can convert this into a method by refactoring it. Simply right click, refactor, extract method, say get all DEPT. And I can call this method wherever I want to reload the grid. So once I save the record in the database, I'll say get all DEPT. Once I update the records, then I'll say get all DEPT. That's it. I'll execute this. This should work as expected. So first of all, I'll insert a new record. I'll say department testing HOD Bob male is active true. I'll say save. I get the record here. It is testing Bob and M. Now I'll search the same record or I'll search some other record. I'll search 101. I'll search for this. I got admin Lily. Now I'll just activate this. I'll say active and update. It should get reflected right away here. It got updated. In the same way, I'll just go for 103 search and I'm going to deactivate this. That is testing Bob. I'll deactivate and say update. 
got deactivated so this is how you can perform search and update operations so in our next video we will see how to perform delete operation thank you very much